Hamas, an acronym for Harakat al mukawama al-Islamiyya, Islamic Resistance Movement, is a Palestinian Sunni Islamic fundamentalist organization that was established in 1987. Its inception was during the First Intifada, a Palestinian uprising against Israeli rule in the Palestinian territories. The history of Hamas is complex, intertwined with the broader context of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, regional politics, and internal Palestinian power dynamics. Hamas emerged from the Gaza branch of the Muslim Brotherhood, a religious and political organization that originated in Egypt in 1928. The Muslim Brotherhood in Palestine had primarily focused on social, religious, and charitable activities without directly involving itself in armed conflict. However, the outbreak of the First Intifada, a grassroots uprising against Israeli occupation that began in December 1987, marked a transformative moment. Sheikh Ahmed Yassin, a leading figure in the Palestinian Muslim Brotherhood, along with other Palestinian leaders like Abdel Aziz al-Rantisi and Mohammed Taha, founded Hamas as an offshoot of the Brotherhood, but with a distinct focus on resistance against the Israeli occupation, blending nationalist and Islamic ideologies. They sought an independent Palestinian state and the establishment of an Islamic society. Notably, its 1988 charter called for the liberation of Palestine and the establishment of an Islamic state in the area that is now Israel, the West Bank, and the Gaza Strip, rejecting the peace processes and advocating resistance, including the use of violence. Hamas's strategy included carrying out attacks against Israeli military and civilian targets, branding these acts as part of a legitimate struggle against occupation. Throughout the 1990s and 2000s, it conducted numerous suicide bombings, shootings, and later, rocket attacks. These actions were condemned internationally with many countries, including the United States, the European Union, and Israel, designating Hamas as a terrorist organization. However, within certain Palestinian circles, Hamas garnered significant support for its steadfast stance against Israel and its extensive network of social services, including schools, hospitals, and welfare programs. A significant shift occurred in 2006 when Hamas decided to participate in the Palestinian legislative elections, a move away from its long-standing opposition to the Oslo Accords and the peace process. Its decision to engage in the electoral process was unexpected given its historical stance. Surprising many observers, Hamas won a majority of the seats, defeating the long-dominant Fatah party led by Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. The victory led to a dramatic shift in Palestinian politics, but it also deepened divisions. Fatah and other parties refused to join Hamas in a national unity government, leading to international donors cutting off funds, citing Hamas's status as a terrorist organization and its refusal to renounce violence or recognize Israel. A protracted political and sometimes violent struggle between Hamas and Fatah ensued, culminating in Hamas seizing control of the Gaza Strip in 2007 after several days of fighting, effectively splitting the Palestinian territories into two entities, with Fatah largely consolidating its authority in the West Bank. Governing the Gaza Strip presented Hamas with immense challenges, including economic collapse due to blockades by Israel and Egypt, international isolation, and three major conflicts with Israel, 2008 to 2009, 2012, and 2014. These conflicts resulted in heavy casualties, vast physical destruction, and further deterioration of the humanitarian situation in Gaza. Despite the high costs, the conflicts also reinforced Hamas's image among its supporters as a resistance movement and the guardian of Palestinian rights, a narrative strengthened by its continued military-style governance and public services provision. 
the years following the last major conflict in 2014 saw several attempts at reconciliation between Hamas and Fatah, often brokered by Egypt or other regional powers. Most of these efforts have been unsuccessful, failing to overcome deep-seated mistrust and ideological differences, operational power-sharing challenges, and broader geopolitical dynamics, including the roles of Israel, the United States, and regional powers such as Iran, Qatar, Turkey, and Saudi Arabia. In recent years, Hamas has indicated some shifts in its positions, seemingly accepting the possibility of a Palestinian state within the 1967 borders, which is a tacit acknowledgement of the State of Israel. However, it has not formally amended its original charter. The organization remains a key player in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, balancing its governance role in Gaza with its identity as a resistance movement. As of 2022, the future of Hamas, its role in Palestinian politics, and its impact on the peace process with Israel remain deeply uncertain. The organization's history reflects the broader complexities of the Palestinian struggle for statehood and the volatile politics of the Middle East.